All right, guys, we are looking at a very sweet knife. Uh, this is actually one from my uh, my collection that doesn't get a lot of use because I like it so much just looking at it. Uh, this is the Buck um, 890 Strider, um, and it's a fixed blade tactical knife. I'll uh, show you what it looks like here. It's a huge knife. Um, this one is actually... Uh, Tonto style, and the blade is massively thick. Um, it's hard to it's hard to get a sense of how big this knife is, um, but it is it is pretty big. Pretty cool. It's a, just a sweet looking knife. The overall length of this knife is um, just under a foot, so almost 12 inches, um, and it's heavy. It's massive. It weighs just under 17 ounces. Um, heavy duty construction and um, it, the blade is uh, almost uh, almost seven inches in total length it's got the tanto um, the tanto tip here here's some up close like I said this one's never been used um, here's some of the markings on the blade Buck Strider. It's heat treated 420 HC um, steel by Paul Bo Paul Bose and uh, Strider Buck 5, um, and it's got the upside down T for the date code. Um, this one is actually uh, serrated. Believe they all are. Um, there's several different models. That are that they uh, collaborated on with Strider knives. This is one of the um, models. This is my favorite one. It's got the Tonto tip. It's a very rare um, knife. Um, you don't see it very often. Um, at least I haven't seen this one very often. But full tang. This is hugely thick. Um, just for comparisons, I'll show you the 110, which is a pretty big, which is a pretty big knife. Um, you can see, you can see it's a, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big knife. And as far as thickness goes, it just dwarfs the 110 in thickness. I don't know the exact, uh, the exact thickness on there. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but it is uh, about triple the size of a buck 110. So if that gives you any uh, any idea handles made out of G10 uh, nice scales here um, pretty good uh, pretty good stuff um, and then you got these uh, riveting screws that hold them on pins um, do a really good job I mean this just feels like a heavy duty knife the jimping unbelievable um, you'll be able to get a really good grip on there no matter what you need to do. The sheath is amazing. comes in this uh, Kydex sheath. It's basically a heavy duty plastic. It's plastic, uh, heavy duty. It's, it's basically indestructible material on the, the clip here. Um, just amazing where the belt, belt clip goes on and the buttons, heavy duty buttons. Lots of places for lanyards and strings and ropes and all of that. And it's got a self-locking mechanism right about here in the knife. Um, and, it, and it just, it, it stays in there amazingly well. This is a really great, great quality sheath, great quality knife. Um, like I said, they made quite a few variations of this knife. Um, you can search eBay right now. If you if you want to get this knife, the best spot to get it is going to be on eBay. Probably won't find this one, but you'll find some other Buck um, Strider knives that are similar. They made some with a drop point here. They made some um, in different designs, different blades. Uh, just they, they did a lot of different things with these. So um, you can see the different shapes out there. Same concept, a lot of them come in this sheath. I think the newer ones actually come in a nylon sheath, so it's a little bit lower quality, um, but you know the knife is still very good quality. Um, 
What else can I tell you about this? This is just an all-around great knife to carry with you for tactical purposes. Uh, you could use it for hunting, um, and you could use it in a survival situation. It's going to hold up well. It's just a really solid built knife. It's got a black oxide coating um, to protect uh, from uh, glare and also um, just basic weathering of the blade. Um, yeah, this is the Buck 890 Strider. I believe this one came out in around 2005, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's right, 2005. And uh, it is also covered under the Buck uh, warranty. So if you ever have a problem or if you need anything um, fixed, they will uh, they'll be there to to uh, help out. It's got the logo right there. Super thick point. I like that. Handle is a uh, really good construction. It's got the the strider uh, way, and it feels comfortable in the hand. It's really good ergonomics. Just feels feels good. So maybe someday I'll uh, I'll do some cutting tests, but this is uh, more of just a first look. I wanted to give you guys um, just an idea of what this knife looks like, how it feels in the hand, and uh, what it is. If you're thinking about getting one of these Buck Strider knives made by Buck, um, I would highly recommend getting them. I mean, this is a this is one of the most heavy duty knives that I've I've held in a long time. It's hard to get. It's hard to find. Um, and it's a sturdy construction and what makes this one unique is that it was heat treated by Paul Bose and uh, because of that even though this is 420 HC um, it's actually gonna perform as well as a lot of the newer um, exotic steels out there just because of this guy heat treating it amazing probably one of the best heat treaters um, out there um, you can do simple searches on the web and learn about this guy Paul Paul Bose, I believe is the way you pronounce it and uh, he he treated knives for Buck um, and he did such a good job they uh, built him his own shop right within right within Buck knives uh, factories uh, because he did such a phenomenal job and he uh, he treated knives for years and years so this steel is gonna perform very well um, Maybe someday I'll get another one and I'll be able to chop through some wood or, uh, you know, just show you some of the performances out there. But um, anyhow, this is the Buck 890 Strider. Um, it's a very sweet knife. Uh, thanks for looking. Let me know what you think if you guys like this one. It's huge. I mean, this is the 110. It just dwarfs it in uh, thickness and size. So, hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day.